I'm a liar, Marty. What? You remember when I told you about that professor who was hassling a friend of mine? Yes, just hearing about it made me very angry. Well, it never happened. <laughs> I mean, to my friend, it's, uh, the, uh, there was no friend. You mean it happened to you? Emily, a professor at our school's been sexually harassing you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you told anyone else? No, except, uh, well, <laughs> no students. I, I just, um, well, I thought I was just gonna, you know, take care of it. <laughs> I wrote a letter to the dean of students, but, um... But what? But I was afraid to sign my name, and so now the school's totally ignoring what I wrote. Oh, it's typical of this place, you know, <sighs> don't look under any rocks. Right, well, the thing is, that it's, it's not gonna, you know, I mean, just <laughs> go away. So, I mean, if, if I come right out with the whole story. And name names and give details. Yeah, everything. Well, then, uh, then what? I mean, <laughs> that's why I need to know what you think, because, I mean, you were incredible when you went public with all that stuff. Emily. No, no, no you were. I mean, people were so down on you when you said that the KAD, kids raped you at the spring fling and everything. And I mean, you wouldn't believe what people were saying about you. Uh, uh, Nothing worse than what Todd said in the courtroom. But you never back down. I mean, not half the women on campus think you're the greatest, including me. Emily, it's okay. It's nice. I want to be like you, Marty. I want to be a, a voice, honest, but people are going to be so rotten to me. I know they are, and I just don't think I can handle that. Oh, wait, wait, slow down. What makes you think people are going to come down on you? Oh, come on, Marty. I mean, at least you, you press charges against some sleazy frat boys, but I'm going to be pointing my finger at one of the most popular professors on campus. Who is it? You're going to be inaugurated president of Landry University on a Friday, right? Mm, second Friday in January. Uh -huh. Why? Well, I have to decide what I'm going to wear. You don't want me to freeze, oh, do you? Oh, no, I don't want you to freeze. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad that's settled. Because now I can get serious about this game. Oh, thank you. You mean I'm not winning because I'm brilliant? <laughs> Think, Mon General. Have you ever won? <laughs> so, you say the divorce hearing is uh, next week? Yes, next week. I guess it's not uh, too much fun to talk about. It. Oh, think about it, it. no, not really. But you know, it's odd. I think that this business between Clint and me has been settled for so long. I'm quite surprised I have any feelings at all about this divorce. Huh? And he's been so marvelous about it since he came back. He wants you to be happy. Mm. So do I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, believe it or not, I am happy. I am so very, very, very okay. happy. In fact, for the first time in what seems like an eternity, I think almost everyone in my family is content and settled down. Almost everyone? Well, there's always Tina. She's in trouble again, but that's as usual. Still trying to get over Cain. No, 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 that's all changed. In fact, I think she's planning on running off with him somewhere. Oh, don't ask me to explain it. All I know is she loves him. <laughs> you slimy worm, Kane. I hate you. I hate you. I heard Angela tell you to call an ambulance for Wanda, but no, you're going to get capped for yourself instead? No, I was. I called an ambulance twice. Oh, all right? so where is it then? Wanda could be dead already. The ambulance is going to get here. And everything's going to be fine. I, I promise. All Don't right? touch me. And don't promise me anything. No, this is how it always goes. Why, why do you always have to push me away, huh? Oh, what do you care? What do you care? You got somebody who'll be, who'll be as near to you as you want. Look, the only reason I'm running away with Angela is because you left me. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's all my fault that you have teamed up with her and that you're conning everybody who comes near to you. Forget the con, okay? 
I, all I wanted was to love you. You know, Kane, there was a time that I did believe that you did love me. And I would have forgiven you anything. Anything so that we could work things out together and be together. Even some desperate fling with Angela, but that time is long past. Why? Why, Kane? Because... Because sleeping with Angela is one thing. But hooking up with her to bilk innocent people is too much. And then I see you trying to run out with all the money. I was not running out the window with oh, the money, stop Tina. With your lies. Stop with your lies, Kane. I saw you with your head out the window and all this money you got in your little pockets there. You know what you are? You're just a two-bit, two-timing little fake. That's what you are. And I hate you, Kane Rogan. I hate you more than I ever hated anybody in my life. <laughs> That goes for your girlfriend, too. Ooh. Rebecca, what's all the excitement? Angela's a fake. She's just been caught paying people to pretend they've been healed. I hate her. That's shocking. We trusted her. I loved her. Excuse me. I wonder you're not gonna die. You hear me? You don't give up. You cling to your faith as strongly as I'm holding on to you. No. No. I don't think so, Angela. No. I don't want to. Wanda, Wanda, I know you can't believe in me anymore. Well, don't. Because I am nothing. I am just an empty shell of a person. But you, you just give me your pain. You just let it flow right out of you into me, and then you will feel peace again. You will feel safe, and you will feel whole. Please, please, just do that. Please, please, just give me your pain. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let me get this straight now. You really want me to perform an exorcism on this house tonight? Andrew, you saw what happened with that lamp. Max almost was electrocuted. That isn't any proof that... that, that that's some... then, but Bobby's not behind it. I got all the proof I need, honey. He's probably not gone at all. He's probably just sulking around here, waiting to spring something worse on poor Max. Luna, please, just listen to me now. Accidents do happen. Two or three in 24 hours. They happen in clusters, yes. Does this mean you're not going to help me? I didn't say that. I mean, I'm happy to bless the house, okay? Really? Yes, I, I oh, listen, I, I specialize in blessing inanimate objects, you know, <laughs> stores and boats and footballs before games, so why not? Okay, I'm, because this is obviously so important to you, I'm going to go back to the rectory, I'm going to get all, everything I need, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back as quickly as I can, all right? Yeah, right. Andrew! What? You can't just walk out of here and tell Max you're going to get some exorcism equipment. You know how he feels kind of weird about that stuff. He'd lose it over that. Okay, okay. Let me worry about that, all right? All right. Oh. Hey, Max. Wow, it's got a great idea. Let's come on back to the rectory with me. I'm going to, um, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to get us some fudge. Huh? Fudge. Sounds good. Come on, hurry up. Let's what? Go. Cassie's on. pregnant? You're the one getting cravings? Come on, boys, night on the fudge? town. Let's go. We're out of here. Fudge. We're back in a flash go play with the fudge. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. What are you talking to Andrew about? What do you mean? Luna, the fudge at the rectory is mine. Andrew hates the stuff. So why would he want it all of a sudden? Maybe the spirit just moved him? Wanda, <laughs> let go of the pain. I'll help you. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside, beside the still, still waters. waters. He restores my, my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, that I walk in the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they 
comfort me? Doria, how long have you been here? Me. You're a doctor. Why don't you help her? No, no. Is there any pain now? Somebody get an ambulance anyway, please. You make sure there's okay. one on the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Brothers and... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is no way for me to say I, I'm sorry except to tell you that um, every time I stood up here, swearing to you that I had dedicated my life to the Lord's work. I lied. I was using you and abusing your faith. And for that, I can never be sorry enough. Because, you see, the money can be returned, and I swear to you, I will return every last cent of it. But your trust can't be restored. So, you may do with me what you want. I am at your mercy now. But please just remember that I am the culprit here, and my helper, Rebecca, is completely innocent in any wrongdoing. And so was the man that was working for me tonight, Kane Rogan. Kane Rogan, you are lower than the bottom drain in the deepest sewer in the whole wide world. <sighs> you know, and even if you could work miracles, there's no way you could change my mind about how rotten I think you are. Look at this, Kane. How could you rob innocent people of their money by using their faith against them? There we go. See? Bible in one hand, wad of cash in the other. That's our girl. Let's go. So? Come on, huh? Tell me, how could you do it, Kane? Tina, it was a one-shot deal, okay? Uh, uh, you know, we needed the money to get out of town. And I thought you'd change. I did. Yeah, I guess you did. I guess you changed from a charming con man into a soulless monster. Oh, c come on, Tina. Let's not get hysterical, all right? Oh, Kane, you know, at least when you were Hudson King, you were scamming people by, by tapping into their secret fantasies and their greed, but now you're just preying on people's weaknesses. Oh, that is totally unfair. Right, it is totally unfair. You know what? Hey, I'm hey, wait. What? Hey, oh. what's going on here, guys? Payback time. What? You think you could pass a phony marker off to the boss and then just walk? Phony marker. Please tell me you don't know what they're talking about. Look, uh, Cass, you got the wrong lady here. All right, the woman you want is outside. She's just wearing white, white dress, dress and, and brown, brown hair. hair. Shh, 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 shh. We got exactly who we want. Now we can make this real simple or real painful. Look, all right, there's no reason to hurt the lady, all right? Look, hey, look, guys. Hey, come on. Hold on, hey. I got money here, lots hey. of money, all right? Hey. Just don't hurt the lady. Hey. hey. Man, I said don't hurt the lady. so confused about what to do with this woman it's because she is not the monster that you thought she was tonight she lied to us yes, yes. yes she did all right angela holiday is definitely a sinner but she is also a truly repentant one i believe that do you, do you think that there's any punishment that you could dole out that would humble her any more than confessing her guilt to you has She's a fake. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yes, maybe she did rig a few miracles in order to make an impression on you. But what you saw tonight was the real thing. Wanda Wolick was desperately ill just a few moments ago. And now, look at her. It was Angela's faith, the power of that faith that she has that, that took away Wanda's pain. And I am, I'm a breast cancer survivor, okay? But I'm well now. There's, the cancer is gone. Yes, the chemo helped. Yes, the radiation helped. But so also did Angela's 
message of love and faith in God. She did it for the money. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. She has yeah. promised yeah, that she is going to return all of your money, and I believe that she's going to do that. Look, Angela's a victim here herself. She did all of this for the love of a man. A man who doesn't deserve it. A man who I'm sure she's still going to try and protect. But is there anybody here who hasn't loved badly? Made a mistake? Look, why don't we all practice what Angela preached? Forgive her. Let her go. Fudge. I sent him. <laughs> you did? Yeah. So why did Andrew say so? Why didn't you say so? Well, because Max would have raised his eyebrows at me. He knows how I'm addicted to that fudge. Do, uh, do you think all women have secret vices they keep hidden from their men? Not you, Cassie Carpenter. I do things that Andrew doesn't go for. Not that he's the fuddy-duddy that Max keeps joking he is. What do you mean? I have an incredible weakness for horror movies. You're kidding. Yeah, the scarier the better. <laughs> but Andrew can't stand them, so late at night, I'll get cramps in my legs. Uh, and then I'll go downstairs. And you crank up the VCR, <laughs> you dirty dog! <laughs> Last night I saw a great movie. It's the, uh... Oh, I can't believe this. I'm completely blanking on the title. What? It's the one about the ghosts mm -hmm. who inhabit people's bodies when they die. I don't know that one. Oh, that's a great film. The ghosts just kind of hover around their victims, waiting for them to get sick or have an accident, and then as soon as they do, they go in through the skin and they take over. Cut it out, Cassie. What'd I say? I'm sorry, honey. I guess I just agree with Andrew. I'm not a fan of horror films. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Um, well, speaking of which, can I get you some more? Oh, no, I'm, I'm all right. Thank you, Sugar. Give me some. Okay. <laughs> Bobby Ever, don't you dare be thinking of possessing or snatching or doing anything with anybody's body, do you hear me? You keep away from us. Radio doesn't work, Max. Gotta sing. You call this a joyride in a heap like this? Oh, come on. What's wrong with the car? It gets me where I want to go. That's all that counts. Wrong all, ministerial one. Style counts. Fun counts. In cars, as in clothing. Oh, come on now. What's wrong with my clothing? Nothing. It matches your car perfectly. Uh, my hands went on the wheel. Bang, zoom, Norton, right to the moon. Come on, Andrew. Look, it's autumn. The trees filled with bright colors. You lose the tweeds, huh? The button-down look is dead. Give it up. Get some color in your life. Get wild. I am wild. I'm wild and crazy. Anyway, I get a new car, uh, I got a new clothes. It's going to cost me a fortune. Get a rag top. They cost even more. You'll love it. What is this, a family heirloom? How long you had this car? Boarding school? Hey, I'm very connected to the car. We have an emotional 
bond to each other, you know? I love this car. I mean, yeah, it needs a few things. I thought it traded in. <laughs> like no, windows. I'm, hey, I thought traded you know, a foggy night like this, maybe, I, you know, traded in. But it's not, what's wrong with it? The wheels are out of alignment. Uh, the radio doesn't work. Look out, right there, right what? there. Wait, look. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to tell me his name? It's... I can't. It's okay. I'm not gonna force you. I mean, after all, that, that's what this is all about, right? Force. <laughs> really makes you mad, doesn't it? Yes, more than mad. Emily, sexual harassment is very serious. But when, it, when it's a teacher, someone who's already in a position of power, it just makes it that much worse. But it has to be stopped. So you think I should go further by filing official charges if you are absolutely sure that this professor is hitting on you yes but i mean i wasn't actually uh raped <sighs> i know but look what those ked guys did to me started way before the spring fling you know how with a snarky comment here and a little grab there in other words harassment and this whole town knows what that led to. That's what's really freaking me out. I mean, what are people going to say if I go through with this? I I'm not going to kid with you, all right? If you file formal charges against this guy, it could get pretty nasty. I mean, look at me. I went through hell. But you know what? I'd do it again in a minute. Really? I mean, like people pointing at you and saying that you deserved it and stuff? You know what happens when we don't come forward? Nothing. Nothing changes. More women get hassled or fondled or held down on a bed. If my rape case, if, if it kept one more woman from being abused, then it was worth all the tears that I cried in that courtroom. What if I can't do it? I mean... What if I just don't say anything? Then your professor's just gonna think it's cool and he's gonna go ahead and do it to another woman. You think so? I know it. Only next time, he might push things farther than he did with you. Vainy? VD? Vicky, I win! Hey, no, no. <laughs> I am simply suffering a temporary setback, madam. <laughs> that is absolute nonsense, General. You have been routed. Please, once more into the breach. Let's play again. Why do you want to play? <laughs> Name it. You know something? Mm. I think I'd better go make some tea or something like that. Mm. <clears throat> no, I had really better because it's awfully hard work beating you at cribbage yes, and I need yes, uh, yes. caffeine. Mm -hmm. Let this give you a boost until you get to the kitchen. A boost? <laughs> Mm. Oh, I don't think I have felt this um, relaxed <laughs> in ages. Yeah. I think that the dark cloud that has been hanging over us all this time is finally lifting. Mm. You certainly look happy. <laughs> you know something? Mm. There is only one thing that I could possibly want now but we're in the rectory what could that be <laughs> mm, let's make tea come on mm. ah <clears throat> i suppose i should get that i suppose you should yes <sighs> saint james rectory <laughs> No, Mrs. Carpenter isn't here. I'm Sloane Carpenter, her father-in-law. May I help you? What? When? Oh, God. Just now? What is keeping them? Andrew and Matt? Yeah. I thought, I mean, the rectory's only a couple of blocks away. I thought they'd be back by now. Well, they probably may never even make it back tonight. What do you mean? Well, 
They went in rolling rust. <laughs> That's what I call Andrew's old clunker. Probably broke down again. Again? You mean it happens a lot? Uh -huh. All the time. Oh. You know what? There's another vice you could add to my secret list. Oh, what's that? Lust. This is a special report.